Hi, it's Mick here from Infinity Innovations and in this video I'm going to cover the seven points you must do when adding new batteries to an existing bank of batteries. So the first thing that we're going to get you to do is to make sure that the SOC levels of both old batteries and new batteries are matching before we even start putting the new batteries into place. The way we do that is we go into our LUX portal and we have a look at the state of charge of the current batteries and we either charge or discharge them to 50%. Why we do 50% is because all new batteries from our warehouse will be 50% full. The second thing that we get you to do is very important. All new batteries that are going into an existing bank of batteries, whether it's just a battery add-on or you're swapping out a faulty battery, the new batteries need to be the master battery. The reason for this is that all new batteries will have a much up-to-date firmware than the older ones. So what we like is the new firmware talking to the LUX controller. So always put the new battery as the master battery in the pack. So the third thing now, we want you to check the dip switches. Because you've had to change the configuration of the battery bank, means you're also going to have to change the dip switches. But this is only relevant to the U-Home 2.4 and the Hanshu 3.2. The Hanshu 9.4 doesn't have any dip switches, so that doesn't matter. As long as that's master, that's fine. Uh, but by putting these master means you're going to have to change the dip switch configuration. Now inside every manual will be the dip switch configuration, which you can find inside the battery box. But if you can't find that, you can just go to our website where you can download either the U-Home or the Hanshu dip switch configuration PDF. So the fourth thing that we're going to ask you to do is to ensure that all the batteries are put online. Even the old ones if they weren't uh, before you'd arrived at site to put the new battery on. Please, please, please put all batteries online if you can. The reason for this is it's a great tool for us to diagnose should there be any issues later on in the future. Or if the manufacturer wants to push through any firmware updates, they can do that remotely. So it's really important to put all batteries online before you leave. With the Hanshu products, you'll get a dongle, and with the U-Home, it's already built in with a little antenna. So the fifth thing that we're gonna ask you to do now is to check your Lux portal. Your Lux should be online, the customer will have an app. Um, so I want you to log into that, and now check to see if the Lux portal is reading the new batteries. So you can tell from the front page of the portal if the ampage has gone up, or if you do access the portal through the web version, you can actually go to the device and you can see how many batteries it's registered to the LUX. Now the sixth thing we want you to do is to check that the batteries are charging and discharging correctly. So again, just viewing everything on your LUX portal, start an AC charge, are we getting the full amount of power going into those batteries? Depending on how many batteries you have, you have to double check and then put a force discharge in as well. Are we getting the right amount of power coming out of those batteries? That's a really good indication that now the batteries uh, are all working together and that the LUX is seeing the right number of batteries as well. Right, the last thing we're gonna ask you to do now is before leaving site, is to charge these batteries up to 100%. You can leave site once you start the AC charge, but just remember you're gonna to have to knock that AC charge off or otherwise it will charge every day at the time settings that you have set. But it's very, very important that we get these batteries up to 100% when they've all been put back together because then the batteries can calibrate up at 100% and all the voltages and SOC will now match and share out equally. So I hope you found all that information really useful. It's very important that you follow those seven steps because otherwise in the future it could lead to further call outs. Obviously, we don't want that. That costs you guys a lot more money. So follow these steps on putting batteries into existing banks and everything will be fine. Thanks for watching.